Hey, welcome back to Real Estate on the Lamb, bringing you the latest market information, some predictions, and a few other nuggets along the way. Many people ask me, how do you determine if it's a seller's market, or a buyer's market, or even a balanced market? It's simple economics, really, supply and demand. Uh, if more houses are selling than what's available, uh, which was the case in 2016 and early 2017, then it's a seller's market. If the rate of sales drops and the number of listings increases, then we have a buyer's market. This is what happened, if you recall, in April 2017 after the introduction of the then Ontario government's Fair Housing Plan. More recently, it happened to a lesser extent uh, with the introduction of the stress test just over one year ago. But home buyers in the GTA seem to be quite resilient um, as the market has stabilized once again, and we are now in a balanced market. This chart on your screen illustrates my point. Uh, at any point in the chart, if you divide the number of listings in blue uh, by the number of sales in red, you will come up with a stat called months of inventory. This tells us how many months it would take to sell all homes in the, in, uh, the GTA uh, if no new ones came into the market. For a balanced market uh, in the GTA, this number is approximately three months. You can see what happened in 2015, 2016, and early 2017. The number of listings was plummeting, and there were fewer homes available than buyers. And what happens when demand is higher than supply? Well, you guessed it, the price goes up. In this case, it went way up. Uh, but things have settled down since then, and both the number of listings and sales are back to normal, and we have a healthy balance, which allows home values to appreciate very modestly. This leads me to my next point and my next graph. Uh, at the peak of the market in April 2017, the average price of a home in the GTA was just over 888000 That's a 15% appreciation in only three months. Unsustainable, right? Uh, then the market corrected itself, and over the last year, we have seen a balanced market uh, with a healthy rate of appreciation. Keep in mind these are average numbers across all property types and across the entire GTA. It is not necessarily representative of what's happening in your local area. Uh, for example, the average price of homes in Toronto is much higher than it is in the 905 regions. Uh, and condos actually uh, account for most of the appreciation over freehold properties. So to find out what's happening in your neighborhood, uh, please don't hes hesitate to reach out. Uh, I'd be happy to uh, give you the scoop. Oh, and one last thing before I go, I want to revisit my prediction from last month uh, for an early spring market. Uh, about nine days ago, Ontario's official groundhog, Wyerton Willie, uh, backed me up by predicting an early spring. So I'm sticking to my prediction, um, and we have already seen activity pick up in many neighborhoods. Uh, I hope you found this information helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, and please also like and share this video with others. Uh, if you, if you uh, have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, you may call, text, email, or even post a comment in the section below. Thanks again for watching. Have a fantastic day.